Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how you get this blur effect and how you could use it to track your face in After Effects. So um, there are multiple different ways to do this, but this is the way that I would use if I wanted to blur somebody's face out in a video. So anyways, guys, let's jump into After Effects. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and I already drug this, um, this video into After Effects. I'm just going to drag it down and create a new composition here. And I am just going to kind of scoot until I find a good time in the timeline and I'm just gonna play this out here. So you can see I'm messing with my hair, a lot of movement right there. So I'm just gonna use this portion of the video. I'm just gonna hit on the keyboard to kill it maybe there. And then if I right click, I can actually just trim comp to work area. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually play this video out just to make sure that um, it's all smooth, just to make things a little bit faster. And the next thing I'm gonna do is track the motion. So you can see here that I have this little tool here, it's called Tracker. If you don't have this, you could just go to Window, Tracker, and this will pop up. Um, it may look a little bit funky. It may be, it may look like that. Um, so what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure you drag this down so you can see all the values. So you're gonna have to create a layer new null object. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna track the motion and it's gonna apply the position keyframes to that null object. So um, when I select the background video, I can hit track motion and it opens up this new window here. And what this does is it basically wants you to select how you wanna track the video. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you track something that remains in frame the whole time, as well as, can I just get a scene that's not me looking like a total idiot? How about douchebag mic? Okay, we'll leave it on douchebag mic. So um, the inner frame is the pixels that you wanna track and the outer frame is where you want the algorithm to search. So if you make the outer frame huge, it's gonna take a lot longer than if you make it smaller, but also the tracking may not be as good. So you just need to kind of, it's a give and take. So um, in this video, I could see here that um, one thing that kind of, so you, you might be tempted to track the eyes, but the problem is there is that you blink. So you don't wanna track the eyes. Um, the nose might be a little too difficult. So I think I'm gonna try to track maybe my eyebrow, which is probably good. So um, just remember wherever you move the tracking point, if I move to the start, it's not in the right position again. So I like to start from the beginning, you don't have to, but I start from the beginning and you just hit this play button. So this will analyze forward um, and this would analyze backwards. So the motion target is null two. Um, we're just tracking the position. We don't need to do rotation or scale, I don't think. And the target, you could hit edit and that's how you can change it to a different null, let's say you have multiple nulls. So I'm just gonna hit track forward and I'm just gonna let this play out. It's gonna take a little bit of time, um, but uh, I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Okay, we are done. And that did actually a really good track. Um, some instances you might get, you know, the track gets lost. Um, you may just need to find a better track or you can manually adjust the keyframes later. Um, so I'm just gonna hit apply and I wanna apply the X and Y direction. I'm gonna hit okay. And now I just close that. So now you'll see this null object and this moves basically with, with that null object. So um, it's, Point is there, but it doesn't really matter because the point of reference was the eyebrow. So now all I need to do is apply a adjustment layer, layer new adjustment layer. I'm gonna start to the beginning and I am going to add a mask to this adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna select all the way around the subject's face or my face, which looks like that. And now you could have apply two different effects. The first one is just fast blur. Apply that to the adjustment layer. And I want to parent the adjustment layer to the null object. So basically this adjustment layer will move around with that null. So now when I increase the amount of blur, I'd like to repeat on edges. Um, you'll see why repeat on edges works. Um, sometimes if you, if you increase the blur too much, and you don't have it on, you get kind of a translucent effect, which you don't want, obviously. Um, but I just like to blur just enough because it's kind of interesting to see that, like, see what the person kind of looks like, but not enough to actually know. Um, and then if you open up the mask settings, you could actually add some feather to this. So it kind of blurs a little bit. 
So it's a little bit better. And when I hit play, you'll see what this looks like. So the blur tracks the subject's face. It's actually pretty simple. Um, so let's look at the other effect, which would be, so I'm just gonna delete the effect. It's called Mosaic. And you don't wanna select this animated preset. You wanna select this stylize. And you can just add it. And I like to decrease the number of blocks, or I'm sorry, increase the number of blocks to maybe like, I don't know, 32. But I like when they're both 32, so that way it's kind of square. Um, for this case, it's a not a square video, so I would maybe increase the number of blocks or decrease the number of blocks in the vertical so it's kind of more even. And now you can see that it tracks the face and does exactly what you would expect. So this could obviously be used on people walking down the street or during an interview or you know, there's so many different ways that this could be used, but um, it's really powerful. So I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, if you did, please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, check out other videos on this channel. And as always, thanks for watching.